Good day everyone. Welcome to Studio 39 Design Studio. This is Richmond speaking, your resident designer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a shipping container. Uh, I've done a couple of uh, these before. I even have videos that I've um, uploaded on YouTube here on the top right hand corner right now. But before I continue, I would like to encourage you guys to like, comment and subscribe to this channel because I do videos like this every week. Let's get into it. One of the things uh, basically that we are going to be doing is basically putting in some minor components. What you need to know is that uh, with this thing, you don't need to be specific. You don't need to be detailed in creating your shipping container. But you need to be, you need to show basically the form and uh, to know that you have an understanding of what you're trying to create. So there are certain things that I'm going to be doing like uh, corner fittings, some beams, some bars, some side panels, some end panels. Uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll go on to other details later on. So first and foremost what i want to start with is i want to create the height so uh, flow to to the next floor we'll have um, 2.6 that's the standard size that's the standard height of a shipping container and another thing that i actually uh, i'm supposed to be setting up the ground floor which is going to be 2.6 uh, and then uh, other things maybe uh, let me just set out here I know that uh, the shipping container that I want to work work with is um, is six meters long uh, by 2.4 meters wide. So this forms the basis. So I know the height, I know the width, and and I know the length. For the first uh, corner settings, for the corner fittings, basically what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using a slab tool. And the thickness is going to be um, 130 and then uh, we're going to be using the rectangular uh, rotated rectangular method so the standard size will be 190 by 190 so I'm okay with that and then 190 on this side right now it's not showing but uh, you can always come here and uh, uh, change the the settings here so I'm gonna make that the cut pen maybe uh, do that and then uh, the uncut pen and and everything like this so I'm going to move this into each and every corner and then what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to uh, copy these so control C and then control up to go to the next floor and then I'm just gonna place this over here on the on the next floor and what I'm gonna do um, well there are um, the method is um, reference plane location uh, top C so what I wanna do is I wanna flip these ones uh, to the other side so I want them to be standing up uh, using this so the reference now is at the bottom instead of the top so this makes more sense and then the flow also going to be a, a slab tool same thickness same directional position uh, with the reference plane being at the bottom and then I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, just simply cut out the sides where the corner fittings are so I'm going to use this as the flow and I would just like to uh, we'll get into the rest later and uh, you can come in here and then change this information also as we did on the other ones. I'm going to come here, I'm going to copy, go to the next floor and then paste it. I'm going to be using this as a roof. So the reference is going to be at the top on this time around and I want the thickness to be 75 and I want to drop it by 25. So if I press F3 just to go to 3D, we'll see what I'm getting. Uh, so minus 25 for this this sort of element. So you know we have our points right here. 
in order to show the difference uh, between the the corner fittings and the floor what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift it up by 30 and then I'm going to make the actual floor 100 so that maybe we can see the difference uh, I mean you can also uh, do something like um, setting this off by let's say 30 but to the inside that is so you can make this steady same thing with the one that's uh, representing the roof there you go so another thing that I want to place here are the the bars so for the bars I'm going to be using columns so I'm just gonna go ahead and select a column tool um, I want it's going to be 150 by 150 so that's what it is I'm not really worried about too much here in terms of uh, explaining what it is so we can make this zero flow to ceiling um, and then we can maybe find a central point to place this there it is right there I mean you, you can always come here and then uh, play around with this make it uh, look a specific way that you want it to look but I don't want to go into that right now so I'm just copying it uh, to, to all the corners now let's just have a quick look see um, what is this in 3D so I'm realizing right now that I placed it on the wrong floor and uh, maybe I would want to set the cut pen to 1 and also the hidden line pen to 1 uh, and also that one to one and then I'm gonna open the settings dialog and then I'm the flow story I'm going to set it to ground floor and then say okay so it's gonna take it to the lower floor and then I'm going to take the core point and then I'm just gonna raise it up to here and on and then also drop it at the top this is better so another thing that you want to place uh, that you'd like to place basically is the the walls the side panels or the the rear ends so what are we going to be using um first of all you need to set out how it's how it looks like so usually um i'm going to control u so we're going to be using spread so that we can put in the spacing that we want which is 70 no vertical displacement and either way it won't show in 3d because these are just lines and then what i want to do is i want to indicate that this is 70 and then we turn to the side here we continue and then once again control d to that point and then we draw another line so also what I want to check is the distance between the these two lines I want it to be about around 35 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag a copy about 35 millimeters and then I'm gonna make sure that this one aligns with this I'm gonna remove that I'm gonna press down control so that I can trim this take this line take this line to there so I'm, I'm just connecting the endpoints very crucial connecting that endpoint so I'm gonna remove the last one do this drag a cop not drag a copy at this time I'm just gonna drag it to where the column actually starts and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a multiplier once again increment and spread and then I'm just gonna say okay and then from this point to that point and then it's just gonna go from there last thing I wanna make sure that uh, we are on point with is the lining up there you go so I have this so there are either two options that you can use you can either use a wall and uh, the wall can be uh, five millimeters thick not worry about the, the the flow and the height and 
and all of this stuff and then you can press down control and then it's going to find all the connected lines that we have drawn and then uh, if you go to 3d you'll see that you have your wall but the problem with this is that you can't punch out a hole in this wall because these walls are um, separate elements like this so you can in if you wanted to say put a hole then you'll have to go ahead and manipulate this one and then go to the next one manipulate it by height or whatever you you may want and then until you get the desired opening that you want but that's the long way to do it that's the long and i and the wrong pay basically the wrong way to do it so what we want to do is we want to use the shell tool and uh, we want to use the construction method detailed and um, the thickness uh, is as i said before uh, we can keep this home story at zero and uh, st under structure instead of uh, composite we're going to be using the generic um, method and then the thickness is five so uh, now we're trying to figure out if this is actually going to work right here under uh, geometry method you can keep it at um, extrusion hold down space bar like we did with the wall and then it's going to find all those walls all those lines and then you can just press ok and i believe you're done at this point there it is right there it's just that it's not showing so you want to go to uh, floor plan and section and then uh, set up your, your lines accordingly that's it so there you have it we'll fix the, um, the material uh, descriptions later on so height wise I want it to be at that point uh, and then also at um, line it up with that and I'm gonna drag a copy of this not necessarily drag a copy just drag it to this point right here and then I'm just gonna say Control shift M to mirror a copy from a central point so I want to just mirror it to the other side so we're gonna be doing the same thing with the um, with the end panels and understand that what I'm trying to do here is to be more so uh, visually right than than technically right so I'm not even going to try and create uh, the door in detail even though I can but it's uh, it will be a waste of time so I just want this to line up nicely so I'm gonna make sure that I trim this to that point and then I'm on, going to delete all of this because I don't need it anymore and then I'm just going to hold down alt to grab the properties of the one that we, that we have just finished working on hold down spacebar select that and then say ok and then I'll move it into position that's the position I wanted it now I can delete those lines if you go into 3d by pressing f3 you'd see that uh, we are on point right here um, the height is fine from the floor but the height here needs to be adjusted to that spot right here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this and then I'm going to mirror a copy by finding a central point control shift M I made a mistake I meant uh, I said uh, control shift D that's why it was copying a uh, a duplicate so there you go you have your container so you can just go ahead and play around with the finishes that you want so maybe if I come here and then I say I go to my um, surfaces and overwrite them to metal nickel some I don't know I'm, I'm just I'm just I'm just making this up as I go right now and then I'm gonna connect the, the columns and then do the same thing for them overwrite this information right here uh, metal nickel 
for the floor and the roof. Uh, so the reason why I wanted us to use this, um, so this is the last thing I'm, I'm done here. So what are, the reason why I wanted us to use the 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 uh, the shell tool is because of this. I can I can select the shell tool, Control Shift E to rotate a copy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate a copy. I'm going to use this corner as my reference. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I want to change the, the orientation. I see here that I, ha I don't have some of my uh, tools. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and set up my tools right here. What I want to do once again is Control Shift E to rotate a copy. And then I'm going to use this corner as my reference. And what I'm uh, because now we're doing it horizontally, so I want to rotate vertically. So it's going to change the, the orientation of my uh, rotation. We can either go the other direction, but I want it in this direction. So I'm going to hold down shift so that uh, it controls um, the angle. So I'm going to click and then I'm going to let go of shift. And then when I get to this point, hold down shift, it's going to control uh, the angle once again. So going to be 90 degrees and there you go and then I can open this in um, on floor on the floor plan layout and then what I can do is I can right click on this and then I can uh, create a hole with the shell tool uh, and this is what I, this is what you can do basically go to 3d you can maybe delete this one if you don't if you don't need it and then I'm going to control control E rather than uh, rotating a copy. I'm just going to re rotate uh, this into position one, back into position, and that's it. And there you go, guys. Uh, you have your thing, so you can always manipulate this this opening. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, hope if you like this video, you know what to do: like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because I do videos like this every week. With that said, love you guys. God bless you, and goodbye.